Apple productivity applications. There are a few and we're going to overview every Apple productivity application, but we're also going to add a little bit of a twist, giving you an alternative that's on the market right now that compares very similar to these applications. Now, if you're new here, welcome. My name's Francesco, I'm the host of Keep Productive. We dive into productivity software and tools and we've just launched a brand new course called the Bento Methodology, in which you can find below and our iOS and Android apps there too. Pages is Apple's first application. It's part of a sort of suite that's installed on devices. It's very much a documents application, allowing you to create beautifully crafted documents that you can share around but it is very similar to an application called Craft, or should I say it the other way around. Craft is available on Mac, iOS, and web, and is a beautifully designed application for creating personal documents, and is a great alternative to pages. Google Docs, also another. Numbers is the next one, and it's normally packaged together with pages as part of the suite, and it's very much like Google Spreadsheets, or Google Sheets it's called, sorry, and it's a spreadsheets alternative to the likes of Microsoft Excel. It is very nicely designed. An alternative that if you're looking for a sort of third party experience, Rose, it's an application for spreadsheeting. We've just done a review on it, so I'll make sure to include it in the link in the description. So Keynote, again, another one Apple's had for a long time and one they actually used as part of their WWDC presentations for many years. Great alternatives include Pitch, a really beautifully designed a presentations platform that allows you to create really easy, fun presentations without too much of the hard work. You also have Canva. Canva is really beautifully designed, but it's more for graphics, but you can use it for presentations more recently. Notes. Notes has been around for a while. Apple Notes is really building on its progress each year, developing new ways to enhance experience, especially more recently with live text and improvements to the document scanner. Good alternatives are Evernote and I would say Google Keep is a good one too. They're very similar. They do, uh, I would say Evernote does a little bit more whilst Google Keep is probably the closest comparison. Apple Reminders has also been one of the pillars on iOS for some time now. It's also available on Mac, but it is a fantastic way to take some simple notes and they've added some more smart abilities in recent years. But alternatives to this could be Sorted, Three, Todoist, or Things 3. All great applications and very similar in structure with some more complex abilities um, in premium pricing. Next up is Apple Mail. We all know this and it is uh, really reliable as an experience and you can install pretty much all of your different uh, email accounts in one location. But the application Spark is a similar alternatives and built by a company called Readle, which developed fantastic productivity applications. We did a recent feature about their new calendars application for Mac, which you can check out below. Now, Shortcuts, this was actually purchased a while back, I think back in 2016, but it used to be called Workflow. And it's basically a way for um, individuals to set up little shortcuts between one experience to another, very much like an application called Zapier. Um, Zapier is basically uh, the original automations application, helps you building to be connections between one app to another. And uh, for example, say you wanted to email, went to star something in your email and set up a zap or a shortcut that basically allows you to get a to-doist task automatically created when it's starred, that's something you can do. So it does help you to go a little bit further with your productivity. Next up is iCloud. iCloud Drive is a good alternative likes of Google Drive and Dropbox for storing your files and information, and it's very much Apple-centric, focusing on security and privacy. Now, finally, Freeform is a new application that Apple are set to release in the coming months, which allows you a digital whiteboarding experience very similar to apps like Miro and Muse, and they are very beautifully designed, and so is a new Apple Freeform. We've done a video on this new application and a little bit more about things that you need to know before it's released about what market it is targeting. So folks, hopefully you enjoyed this video. A little bit of a basic one if you're already someone who knows all of the Apple products, but if you aren't, 
it uh, definitely gave you a bit of a catch up. Anyway, folks, I wanted to say a big thank you. If you're new here, please do subscribe to Keep Productive. We've got plenty of videos and productivity software that you can check out. And feel free to share what alternative app you use if you don't use some of these basic Apple applications. Thank you very much, folks, and I'll see you very soon.